What's up, you guys? Hey, Chanel, I'm here for the video. so proud to be a part of the Muse Eye chapter of AKA. Uh, I went over, most of you know, in spring 96, and some people I pledged in here, you're welcome. Um, you can all refer to me as Golden Globe from now on. Because I shimmer, I shine, I am the greatest of all time. <laughs> um, so I think a lot of you know where I've come from. I'm from a small town in Somerville, South Carolina, and Anyone who knew me when I was here knows that the only thing that I ever wanted to do was be an actress and that there was no other passion that I had. It's something, I used to pretend that the paparazzi was following me around when I would go out to restaurants with my family, when I was out with my sororers. It just, I just pretended until now they are. So um, I won't bore you with all of the details, but I will say that no matter what you are doing, uh, one thing about the ladies in our story is that we have intelligence, we have grace, and we do things with passion. And when we go through life living that way, no matter what you want to do, if you do it with grace and intelligence and passion, there's nothing you cannot do. And I believe that that is one of the main reasons why I have succeeded. Um, and then we can also be humble while being so, oh, so pretty. <laughs> so I, I really had a lot of lows, and you see where I am now, but what you did not see is for all the yeses that I received, I received about 25 to 30 no's. And it's a lot of rejection, and you have to have a really, really thick skin, and you have to know yourself and know that God does not put something in your heart does not put a desire in you that he does not want to manifest. And you have to be sure to persevere and to continue down the path because those who do not succeed are the ones who quit. And we are not quitters. And that is why um, I can stand here today, but it's still a hustle. I'm on a very successful show that's going into its ninth season. I've been the only woman of color on this network for a very, very long time uh, until recently. And that's something that I take pride in. I take pride in having dark skin and natural hair and being seen as, quote unquote, the pretty person because we all know that we didn't see these kinds of faces when um, we were growing up. And so it's really an honor and it's something that I take pride in and it's something that humbles me. Um, but we have to set examples and I would try to be a really, really good example for our young brown girls to see that we can live out our dreams and we can do it in a graceful way. And, and I'm excited about this new wave of what's coming up now. These people who are saying that they will not be victim to racism and sexism and all of the things that we're struggling with and really taking a stand, especially in the you all who are in college now this age group, you are really the leaders of this next movement for us. And, and so I'm excited to watch what you all will do. So that's really, I'm not gonna, I mean, you kind of know my, let I me mean, Google me, honey. You know, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna bore you with, with everything, but it, it was a long road to get here, but I'm sorry. And I can't believe everything that you all put together just to see your faces. Um, it really gives me so much pride to be a part of the new side chapter. And so I'm so proud of you all. I do want to emphasize that one thing that was very important to me, it doesn't matter about the numbers and you know how big lines are or how big the chapter is. What is very important is that people are active and that we serve our community. That is the most important thing. You cannot be a lazy soul. Uh -huh. It just doesn't work. And that's not why we do I just want to remind you that it's not about wearing pink and green and, and you know, having nail you on, nail you on, nail you. It's really about being a service to our community. I take pride in the fact that I just won an award for philanthropy, um, but a lot of those roots, and John Legend was the, um, was one of the 
people who made the night happen. And so I got to work closely with him and Stevie Wonder and it all had to do with service, which to me is much better than receiving a Golden Globe Award. It's what we stand for. And we can't go around being lazy, okay? So that's my, that's my preaching moment, <laughs> all right? Get up and go to the meetings and go do some community service and let's take lots of pictures. Thank you so much to the Musai chapter. Thank you for having me and thank you for setting this up. I really love seeing your faces. And y'all are all so dark, so pretty. But I can So how does it feel to be back at Oscar? Oh my gosh, it feels amazing. I'm loving being with my chapter right now. The music chapter, aka being back, has been so nostalgic, but so fun. And I love seeing my dorm room and the campus. The campus is so beautiful. Y'all are lucky. You don't even know how lucky you are. This campus, and we didn't have this. That heated pool, we didn't have that. So I'm so happy. <laughs>